here's a retaining wall we just pulled out, a wood retaining wall. And uh, as you can see, they have absolutely no free draining material behind the wall. As the wall went right here, six inches, and they have the earth directly behind the retaining wall. And uh, sometimes what happens is if there's a little gap in the wall, the uh, earth sometimes with the water will bleed out through the front. So you have the uh, brown staining on the front, uh, which is bad. But it's also there's no free draining material. So when this material freezes during our winters, it exerts a lot of uh, pressure on the wall. Now, they did have this a little bit because it was behind the steps here, and they had an inside corner, which would have been for, which would have been wedged there. But this uh, you know, puts a lot of pressure on it, so every year it pushes it a little bit out. But uh, we shall put the 12-inch stones and another 12, 14 inches of clear grain material wrapped in a, in a fabric so that the soil does not uh, get all contaminated to, so that the, clear, the stone remains uh, free draining. But that's how they did the, a lot of, uh, we take down walls like this all the time. And that's a big uh, no-no to have no free draining material behind the wall. As you can see, as you can see the, the earth is perfectly behind there. Absolutely nothing. So that uh, makes the wall rot. Also, if it's all wood, rot quickly and a lot of frost damage. And uh, I'll show you the final here. It'll be a wood or a stone wall, not wood. I don't like wood walls. And be a stone with uh, free draining material behind it.